Hi, it's Jill again with Crick Flicks. Um, I told you, I just did a video and I said the next video I was going to be doing is I'm going to show you something that I'm doing on, um, actually for my granddaughter, I'm going to be doing this theme for her sixth birthday, Kendall, and um, just finishing up these pieces here and going to show you something different that I did on, on Elsa here. Um, she's a two foot piece. I've got the snowflakes of the bling in her hair. I don't know how well you can see. And the bling at her waist with all the glitter running down her dress. And then I added tulle to her dress. And the tulle that I used, I put away. <laughs> Here it is. This was tulle that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm going to lay her down on this direction because I've already got the one side done. Um, I put the accent, a set, or the accent glossy accents in the eye so that they give the that that um, real look of the eyeball. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some tape here, where I'm going to be taping down the train. Um, Whoops, I hope my glue gun didn't just go off. Got another one here going on that's kind of sticking in my way. Trying to get out of my way. Okay, now let me cut this off um, and trim this up. And then I am going to, I put some tape across here. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of lay the tool on here and fold it back and forth and stick it on the tape. Now I'm going to do this in two sections because um, it's it's pretty long. Her, her train here is pretty pretty full. Now the tape is just enough to hold it down while I take some glue, some hot glue. Let me see. I'm going to put that down there. And I'm going to hot glue some of these snowflake bling that I have found. The reason I'm going to hot glue them, they are stickers, however, they're not going to stay put um, with just the sticker. They, they have to be hot glued down in order for them to stay and hold that tool down. And careful burning yourself, I do that a lot and I just did it now. Um, a lot of folks have been asking me about my knee. Um, my knee is doing um, good, uh, still sore. Um, when I get up in the morning, my husband this morning thought, oh my God, you walk worse than you did before you had the surgery. Um, sometimes I overdo it and uh, I don't know how to, to not overdo it. I'm, I'm just way too active of a person that I don't sit well. So um, in the morning I pay for it. I'm a little bit sore. However, once I get moving around, um, it, it doesn't last for long. So I would say for the most part, I'm doing incredibly well with my knee. Um, I have some other issues going on that have nothing to do with my health, um, but um, some things that we're dealing with here that are um, probably I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Um, and so Again, has nothing to do with my health, but with one of my my children, and um, I don't want to get into any detail about it because it's just it's not something I can talk about at the moment without losing it. So uh, I'm trying to occupy my mind. It is the middle of the night, and I probably uh, won't be going to bed. I'm. I'm, I don't know, I, I, I just don't think I can sleep. But anyway, for those of you um, that have offered prayers for my knees, uh, for my knee and for my burning mouth, for my health and everything, um, I'm asking for your prayers for my daughter. Um, anyway, let me pull it together here. That's why I didn't want to talk about it, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to hold it together. Okay. I'm going to breathe deep and pull myself together. But anyway, um, 
please keep her in your prayers. Her name is Amy. Um, she's the mother of the two beautiful children, um, Wyatt and, and Charlie, that you hear about me talk about uh, all the time. And right now we're all going through some real painful, 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 painful situations. And I'm an emotional wreck. But like I said, I have to do the, um, I have things, I have things I have to do and it keeps my mind occupied and um, I have faith that God will help us to get through anything um, if, if we just keep our faith and, and pray He works through all things for good. So I'm trying to be positive. I do have my ups and downs. Um, today I was pretty up. Tonight I am pretty down. Um, again, it's, it's, so if I don't see myself, that is why. Um, again, it doesn't have anything to do with, with my health or anything like that. And my health, my children are healthy and that's why I said everything you know, if you've got your health and you've got your faith, you got everything. But it's just some obstacles and roadblocks that you just have to learn to get around to get over. Uh, that's life. I just recently had a post that I said, when life throws your curveball, just be thankful you're still in the game and stop the complaining. So I should stop the complaining. Um, we just got a little bit of a curveball thrown to us. But with children involved, especially tiny babies, um, it, it's a little, it makes that just a little bit harder to deal with. So, again, for those of you that have kept me in your prayers in the past for all my trials, please, please, I need them more than anything right now. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to shut up now and change the subject. Again, I keep saying that and then I go right back. Stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to go down and have some more caffeine and try and get through the night. There. I do love this tool. And let me see here. This is not one of the easiest things to do, however, it, relatively speaking, you just have to mess with it a while and you'll get it. It, it will, it will um, fall in place here as you put it down. I just add a little bit of hot glue when I get towards the end, not a ton just a little bit to keep it. Um, the tape won't hold it. That's why I put the gems down with hot glue because the tape is good to put down when you're laying your tool down. It's just to hold it in place while you get it how you want it. But you will have to secure it with a little bit of tape, a uh, little bit of tape, a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. And try not to touch the spot where you put the hot glue because with the tool it will go right through it and into your finger and cause some horrible bruising. Now, on her, I'm going to take a little bit of my glitter. Um, I haven't done her glossies on her eyes either. I'm losing it. I'm gonna uh, draw some lines of glitter down here, maybe. There we go. And there we go. And there we go, and uh, what I try and do is get as much in here as I can because there's a little bit of a line that again, whenever I'm doing these larger pieces, you're always going to have um, some um, seams that's just inevitable. 
or you're not going to get two foot pieces so you just bear with the seams so that's done and let me see how did I do her glitter on the other side um, oh I put gems at her waist that's what I did so let me put the gems at her waist and these are recollections gems that are sold in long swirly whirlies and I cut them off of that um, so we are going to attach those and let's see here um, okay and those there and let's grab some here and I'm going to put them right there there we go and then I'm going to add my glossy to her eyes and I'm going to set her side to let her dry and then I'm going to do the next which is going to be um, Thin. Everybody asks me what it is that I use on the eyes, and it is this Glossy Accents Make by Ink, Ink Essentials. It is the greatest stuff to use on eyes. And put that aside, and there she is. I'm going to move her aside to dry up a little bit while I show you what I did to spin. Let me show you all the pieces here. I've got um, Olaf done. Here I used uh, for the twigs, they weren't actual real twigs, these are from silk flowers, so these are made out of plastic. And then I added glitter on the side for the shiny snow. Um, what I did for Christoph, he's two feet tall. He's actually standing on a mound of snow, which I glittered and I inked around it in um, to just kind of give it the look of snow and I added glitter and um, embossing and, and the the stuff to his eyes um, okay, I added a little bit my husband kept saying I had an extra spot and I didn't know what he was talking about but now I think I see it I had a little bit extra on his eye anyway he's all done um, this snowflake that I did is the whole group that I made and it's 15 inches tall and I added uh, liquid pearls here on the buttons on Eric and I added the glossy on his little um, tie they've all got the glossy on the eyes so the eyes pop out I forgot the glossy on him so I have to do that and then I added uh, gold glitter to the gold areas that were there then I added the pink liquid pearls to her dress and swirls and to his belt. And then I did the snowflake that says Emerson's Frozen Kingdom. And I did a purple background on the whole group. And then I did purple lettering here. Actually, I didn't do a purple background on the whole group. That was the other group. This is all white. I did purple background on him that matched her cape. Then I put some bling on the snowflake that says Emerson's Frozen Kingdom and this is pop dotted so it sticks out and I'm going to add since I already have this out dog got well yeah I'm going to forget if I don't I'm going to add which side I'm going to add the glossy here because I know I'm going to forget if I don't do it now and There we go, and there we go, and I'm going to set that one aside. I'll take a picture of all of these when I'm done. Um, I'll stand them up and take some pictures. Um, on this one, what I did, so this is the whole entire group. Um, I did the glossies here with a little bit on the on um, spin. I got some brads that are actual bells so I poked and put the brads in around his collar 
or around, yeah, the, the, the collar that they have. So it, like Jingle Bells and this white fur garland that I found is for his fur that's around his, his, he's got white fur all the way around the front of him. So I actually added the fur and then the glossy accents and then I did the liquid pearls on her and the liquid pearls here and I added the tulle on her dress. This one's done on both sides, but I added the the tulle and the and the gown on her. Now the tulle that I added on this particular piece was sold like this. It's a different tulle than the first one. Saint got it at Hobby Lobby. It's four inches wide. And I just did a strip right down here, just one strip going this way and then hot glued it to kind of line it up. And again, I'll be taking close up pictures of these so you can see really good how those came out. I absolutely love it. On the big spin, I did all the fur around him. And I'm gonna show you how I did that and with what. I'm gonna lay him down and take this off and get out one of my garland ropes. They're sold at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section like this. And they're just, they're garland. And all I did was take and hot glue them around his white. He's got a white, a white, be a white, all the way. See this white fur all the way around him? That's where I put in it. So I took a piece, put some hot glue down, and laid this down on there and and I'm going to snip off and pull the extra off. Stuff flies everywhere but that's okay. It's easy to clean up. And then we do it again because I don't want to cover up his horns completely so I went not as horn as antlers. Horns. Can you believe it? Horns. I am really out of it. Again, I'm extremely tired, but I don't want to go to bed because I don't think I can sleep and I don't want to lay down and think. So I'd rather be sitting up and working. I just don't want to think. I know I'm eventually going to probably pass out sitting here, but maybe if I pass out, I won't have to think. Things are always better. You always have optimism and things always look better in the daylight. At night is not a good thing. You lay down, you lay your head on the pillow and your mind just races. And that's why I don't want to lay my head down because I don't want my mind racing. So I'll just stay up all night and hear about it in the morning. My husband and my daughter, my, my older daughter called me uh, not too long ago and told me just to go to bed. Things will look better in the morning. And um, um, that's so easy to say. It's just so easy to say and so hard to do. Um, anyway. Anyway, anyway. And let's see here. We're going to do another piece here. And let me put that right here. And I kind of put quite a bit of glue widthwise because I don't want this fur flying all over and I want part of the antler to show through and so there I did it on that side so we have his white fur around his head and we have fur flying everywhere here let's put him there he's done um, I'm gonna say hallelujah if I'm done with this because Oh, got one more here to do. Then I have here two foot um, Anna um, did the liquid pearls all on her cape. Uh, glitter, silver glitter on the front of her dress. Um, glitter and liquid pearls on the bottom of her skirt. And the accent, um, glossy accents in her eyes. Again, for the hundredth time, I will be taking pictures of all of these pieces. I'm kind of going over them pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if I just showed you this one. You've seen it on other videos of the one of um, her ice skating. And it, got, it has all the same accents as the one I just showed you. Then I have this last one of 
um, Elsa and I'll show you how I did her her um, tool. Did hers a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to take the tape again and tape here. How did I do this? I got to look at the other side and see how I did it. I think I put quite a few pieces there. Ooh, drop my glue, my tape gun. Hope that doesn't wake up my husband because he'll come in here and yell at me for still being up. And I don't want him to do that. I want him to stay sleeping. And let me stay up and think, or not think, work. No think, no thinking, no thinking aloud. But anyway, let me do this and crunch this up like this and put it right there. Then I'm going to take and grab one of these. Which one did I drop? The one that I wanted, I dropped. Let me grab that. And I wonder if my camera is already shut off. Nope, it's still running. I need to look around these. Okay, if it does run out, you'll know if it just all of a sudden stops, it's because um, my, my, uh, went on too much. I went on for too long and it'll just all of a sudden stop recording. So if that's the case, I'm not going to redo it. Just know that it's talked too much. So let's see, I'm going to put this down here. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to run this one in here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Then um, let me cut this off straight. And um, in case this does run out, the, time, the recording, after I put this one on here, I'm going to go and put the... Um, the bling on here just like I did all the other ones and then run this one down here and again I will be taking some close-up pictures. I'm just a little bit concerned that my camera is going to run out. Time out on me. And I'm sorry that I don't have any funny stories to tell you or endearing stories to tell you today. Um, normally I have um, yeah, normally I have some great stories. My heart is breaking. <sighs> Let's see. But, and we're going to cut this one off. Um, And I think how I'll do this one is, I think I'm going to, I don't remember how I did it, but it'll come back to me. I do know it does need to have tape. And I'm going to run it down. I'll finish this off, but I think what I'm going to do is turn the camera off before it shuts down on me. I'll take some pictures and get this uploaded. Thank you and have a good night. Bye-bye.